Here's a 1936 Ford Cabriolet. Beautiful little convertible here. As you can see, the finish on this car is absolutely gorgeous. From the bright work to the chrome, take a look at the front bumper, the horn drapes, the actual grill itself. I'm going to come around here. It is extremely stock. Um, still has the flatty underneath the hood, three speed manual transmission. As you can see, the artillery wheels, which are set off in the red and black with the wide whites, black for the uh, black inserts, red rims. Just gorgeous. Go along with the black paint, which has a very, very nice luster. It's really free of much for scratches, dings, dents. Got the beautiful red pinstripe going down the side there that sets it off. Running boards, rubber, and everything on the boards. Very nice shape. This is an all steel 1936 Ford. Take a look at the interior here. And again, as you can see, it's very stock. Radio, three speed transmission. Manual in it, banjo steering wheel, into the back, the vinyl, not worn, torn, ripped, convertible cover, convertible top boot, I should say. Also, very nice shape, as you can see. Rumble seat car besides. Just everything about this car is very, very nice. Runs and drives very nice. Come around to the driver's side, fire up for you. See the spare tire in the back, which also Matching painted artillery, artillery wheel there. I'm going to close this too so you can see the reflection on it. Look at how everything fits nicely. Closes right up. That, by the way, is a little bit of dust <laughs> on the black. Those are reflections of the ceiling. You can see the ceiling fan. I got my fingerprint in there from closing up that trunk lid, but you can see very very nice finish on this cabriolet. Get the rubber mat on this side. I don't remember if I mentioned this is an all steel vehicle. I'm gonna fire it up here a second too. Flip the ignition on. Hit the starter. Oop, I have to give her a little bit of gas, a little bit of choke. You can see it's still got the stock radio in it. There's choke and throttle. You need to give a little choke to starter. Work that back in slightly. The radio is all intact. Um, as you can see underneath here with the cables and everything running up to the head unit here. Um, I have not had it working. Messed around with it a little bit, but have not had it working. Gauges do work. Front vent will also open and close. Uh, wipers or wiper does work. If you'd like to see the underside of this pick, uh, underside pictures of this car, you can see those at uniqueclassiccars.com. You can hear a very nice, smooth running flathead V8. Got that choke out a little bit so the idle's up there a little bit. But very smooth running car, drives out nicely. If you'd like to uh, inquire about this car, know anything else about it, give us a call, 507-386-1726, or you can email us, sales at uniquemankato.com, or like I said, just check out the underside picks, interior, all the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Around here one. Push up. Choke back in and the idle will go right down on it. Very smooth running 1936 Ford Cabriolet all steel. Give us a call.